Hello there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to try and get this default controller doing something meaningful, okay? Uh, and hopefully displaying some cool stuff from our content management system. Now, before we get started, there's something that we need to do, and it's all regarding special pages. Let me tell you what I mean here. On this website, there's going to be a couple of pages that are very, very special as far as we're concerned, okay? The first page that's going to be really special is the home page. And the home page is going to have a page URL that's empty. And it's going to be the home page. And uh, that's the vibe, okay? I'm just going to say here is the home page content. Now, this is a special page for a few reasons, some of which will become clear right now and some of which we'll have to wait for another video. But basically the vibe is that the home page must never be deleted. Uh, obviously we, we don't want them to go into this thing and you know go in and delete the thing, okay? Um, the other thing about the home page that's going to be unique is that even when you change the page title, it is not going to change the page URL. Can you handle the vibe? That's the vibe, okay? So that's going to be a special page. The other page that's going to be a special page that I'm going to just make right now is going to be the contact us page. And that's special because every time that comes up, it's going to draw on the screen a contact us form. And who knows, maybe that contact us form will contain an address, phone number, maybe uh, something from Google Maps, who knows. But nevertheless, it's a special page. So I'm going to do page URL here. Whoops. Contact us. Uh, all is one word like that. I'll just write contact us so that you can see what's happening. Um, and I'll just say here... Uh, this is the contact us content, okay? So both of these pages have IDs of one and two, and they are, hang on, it never changed the page URL. Give me a second here. Let me do that again. Did I forget to change that? Page URL, contact us, hello. Why did it do that? Let me try that again. Contact us content. Come on, man. All right, I think I've... Sorry, I accidentally inserted a page. <laughs> sorry about that. Right. <laughs> okay. The key vibe is that the homepage has an ID of one. The contact us has an ID of two. You probably don't have a clue what's going on. All I'm saying is it's special pages. Now hold on tight. I'll show you exactly what this means. If we open up web pages, create, okay? And we go to this additional uh, buttons thing here. Do you see that? Okay. I'm going to add an if statement in here that says if update ID, actually because it's one and two, I can just say if update ID is greater than two, then we're going to do the delete thing. Okay. Oh gee, my fingers have stopped working. Right, okay, so check this out. If we now go to the content management system like so, we refresh it, everything seems kind of normal, okay? But if we go into the home page here and try and delete it, it will not let us delete the home page, okay? Uh, we could also go to the, if we want to be really, really proper about this, um, if we go to the delete thing, we could say, if not is numeric, blah, 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 and we could add an else if. Else if update ID is less than three, then also let's just redirect because they should not be here, okay? So we're stopping them. Or uh, I stop them from prevent, <laughs> prevent them 
from deleting home and contact us, okay? That's all we're doing here. That's the vibe. I told you it was a special page. The other thing that makes it special, as I was saying just a minute ago, was if somebody updates this, okay? And let me just see if the update ID is less than three, then I'm going to unset data page URL. So I'm not going to mess with the page URL, okay? That's the vibe, and there you go. So uh, to show you what's happening, I have this page here, some other page, which has an ID of six, okay? I was playing around with this before you came on. So if we go here, you can see that delete page is there, everything is normal, and the page URL will correspond to whatever is in this field, okay? However, the home page, okay, the home page, uh, if we hit edit here, we do not have the delete thing. Same with the contact us thing. We don't have that here either. Okay, so now that we have set up our special pages, here they are. Aren't they looking special? Actually, let's change this thing. It's annoying me. It says first try. <laughs> I'll change that to contact us, okay? Um, right, there we go. So now that we've set up our special pages, everything is looking good. It's time to get this working. Okay, so I'm going to load up the default module and we'll make a few changes here, okay? Uh, now, just so you know, what this is doing is it's going to attempt to load content from the web pages table. That's what we're doing, okay? So I'm going to make a thing up here. First bit is this URI segment one. We are looking at the first segment here, okay, on this thing here. Now, in this case, the first segment's empty. There's nothing going on here, right? But it's this area here. It's the first segment. And as a matter of fact, as I am fiddling about with the space bar, maybe it's a good idea to put a little trim statement in there. Won't do any harm, you know. So now I'm going to load up the web pages module, like so. And I'm going to do a little query. Uh, on web pages and it's a get where custom and we're getting where page URL is equivalent to this first bit okay now I'm going to see how many rows this returns and we'll just echo the number of rows onto the screen right so if we hit refresh it's returning one row the reason why it's returning one row is because it's looking on the table and it it's finding this page URL here, which is matching, and it's finding that row, okay? If we make the page URL uh, contact us, again, it's finding a row. But if we make the page URL, the, 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 it's not finding a row, okay? Uh, it's a page not found, you know, and we'll deal with that later on. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to say if num rows is greater than zero. Okay, so we have found content. Load the page. Okay. <laughs> this is the worst comments ever. Right, we have found content. That'll do it. No need for any more drama, folks. Um, right, now, if you look at store items, do you remember we had a nice page at store items view? That was kind of cool, right? And the way that the thing loaded up was basically this code here. So let's copy that in from store items, right? And we need to know what the template is. So templates, oh, well, it's got that public bootstrap. Here it is, it already says it. So that's cool. Um, our view file is going to be empty and our view module is going to be empty and we're going to do that. Let's load it up. Let me just bring up the home page again. Okay, that's cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to fetch the data. Data equals this web pages uh, and just so you know what's happening. 
do you remember we had this fetch data from DB thing in here? Okay. In fact, sorry, I'm sorry. We we don't we don't have the update ID, <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> Let me do this the uh, the long way. So for each query, loading up result as row. Okay. And actually, I think I can borrow some things from here. I think we can get away. Whoops. I think we can get away with that. So we'll just paste in. Okay. Hit refresh. Okay, so that's pretty good. It's bringing up the page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into that template, which is public bootstrap. And we've got this action here that's loading up a module. Do you see all of that stuff? Um, but what I'm going to do is up here, I'm going to say if is set page content. Then I'll just say custom page for the moment. Refresh. It's a custom page, okay? Uh, but actually, it's just going to be echo new line to br page content, everybody's favorite PHP function. So if we hit refresh, you'll see there is the home page content. And these two if statements are a little bit uncool. So I'm going to say else if, and we'll chuck uh, this inside this here, like so. And we'll borrow this here. Yes, thank you very much indeed. Paste this in like and like like so like so, and we'll simplify like that. Just deleting that up, and there you go. So if we go to the home page, that's looking good. If we go to contact us, uh, that's looking good. If we go to store items view, everything still works. And as a matter of fact. Um, if we do that and we go to our not found page, we can actually uh, bring up the not found page. In fact, I'll save that for another video. I think I've given you a good run for your money here, hopefully, folks. The content management system is working and all is well. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.